I'm in Kings Lynn, Norfolk, England, and I'm going to see a recently discovered stage upon which it's highly likely that William Shakespeare played on. This is highly unusual. Shakespeare's been dead for more than 400 years, so a revelation that a stage has been found upon which he played does take some believing. So in case you think I've clickbaited you, let me start with a quote from no less a person as Professor Sir Stanley Wells, honorary president of the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust. Sir Stanley says, everyone interested in Shakespeare and in the theatres of his time must feel a thrill of excitement at the discovery of the only surviving boards on which he is likely to have performed. Only a small section of it has so far been uncovered and you're gonna be amongst the first to see it. or not, there's no denying that Shakespeare is widely regarded as the number one writer throughout the existence of the English language. He's a monumental figure, voted the fifth greatest Briton of all time. His plays and poems, of course, are very famous, and we do know quite a lot about him as a person, but there's so much we don't know about his life. So a discovery such as this, backed up by expert testimony and documented facts, is a big deal. We're not sure exactly when his birthday was. We think we know where he went to school, but we can't be certain. We've got a handful of suggestions about how he might have died, and we can't even be absolutely sure how to spell his name. In fact, he couldn't be sure. He spelt it 80 different ways during his lifetime. There is one thing we can be absolutely sure of. He didn't spell it like this. So you'll hear the word likely quite a lot in this video. These events are, after all, 430 years old. But I believe there's enough provenance in this story for us to be able to hang our hat on. There's enough here to be able to say yes. Shakespeare played on that stage. So today we're going to add one extra piece to the jigsaw of his life. We can look at floorboards, a medieval stage, and say he played on it. He likely played on it. Of course, Shakespeare was much more than an author or a playwright. He shaped the English language. He helped to standardise grammar and spelling. And he introduced around 1,800 words to the language. You use those words today. Without him, you would never be able to be dexterously critical of your accommodation. You wouldn't be able to describe yourself as lonely, generous or frugal. He's a giant of a figure, which is why I'm particularly excited to have been given the honour of visiting this amazing theatre. It's the only working theatre that can claim that Shakespeare played there. St George's Guildhall, Kings Lynn. It's the oldest theatre still operating in the UK. It started out life as a religious guild meeting house in 1406 before becoming a theatrical venue. Archaeological work has been underway over the last two months. It's part of a programme of redevelopment and refurbishment and that's how this stunning discovery was made. I often point to buildings on this channel and say that building is older than the United States of America but with this building I can say that it was built almost a hundred years before the discovery of the new world. I can go further. I can say that the men who built this structure weren't entirely sure what shape the world was. It was used quite a lot by touring companies back in Shakespeare's time. In 1592 to 1593, London's theatres were closed because of an outbreak of the plague. So William Shakespeare and his company of actors toured Kings Lynn instead. A note in the Corporation of Kings Lynn's accounts book shows that Shakespeare's company was paid by the corporation to play here. So we know he was touring in the town with his company. And we know that his company was paid by Kings Lynn Corporation to play here at St George's Guildhall. So I think it's safe to say, yes, he was here. I want to add just one more point, a curious thing that happened here in Shakespeare's lifetime. A book was published that Shakespeare read that told of a woman stood in the audience here watching a murder being depicted on stage. As the woman stood in the crowd watching the play, she was so overcome with guilt that she confessed to killing her husband. Shakespeare is said to have written a murder in Hamlet directly inspired by the events that happened in this room. And it happened right here.
The creative director of the Guildhall is Tim Fitzhyam. Tim has been involved in a project here to keep the UK's oldest working theatre open and running. Thanks to the government funding, Tim and his team have been able to bring in experts, such as Dr Jonathan Clark, an archaeological building expert. That's enabled them to be confident as to what these boards really mean. It makes the boards important nationally and internationally. Dr Clark says it's the largest expanse of timber medieval flooring in the country. He says that scientific analysis and study of the structure confirms that it's a complete 15th century floor and would have been in situ when Shakespeare performed here in 1592 or 1593. He says the main reason it's still here is because it's totally integral to the building. It would have been difficult to dismantle it without destroying the structure of the building, so they either had to patch it up or lay another floor on top of it. He used a combination of tree ring dating and a survey of how the building was assembled to date the boards to 1417 to 1430, comfortably before the first ever performance here in 1445. It was hidden underneath 18th and 19th century floors and even a 1960s floor. The large oak boards are almost 12 inches thick, held together with pegs rather than nails. It's believed that the floor would have been laid by shipbuilders over an entire year. You're looking at a completely intact early 15th century floor surviving underneath modern flooring. Considering it's over 600 years old, it's an incredibly good condition. It's flooring from the early 1400s in a theatre that we know is the oldest working theatre in Britain. These are the boards upon which Shakespeare trod. They're the Bard's boards. This area is what is known as the low end of the hall and is where players would have performed, both Shakespeare and his company of actors. This floor has been here since the construction of the hall in 1406. The beams are massive. It's worth pointing out that this is an upper floor. You may well hear the sound of school children below on an educational visit to the cultural hub. Dr. Clark and his team have established that the floor was laid in a very unique way. Instead of constructing the building with big bridging beams and joists with floorboards on top, they instead opted for massive floorboards to act as both the joists and the flooring. We know that Shakespeare played here in 1592 to 1593 and we also know that this floor formed the stage at that time. You're looking at the original boards upon which Shakespeare himself trod. What you're looking at here in this floor area is a very large 15th century 1400s timber frame floor and it spreads right the way to the back of the stage and it goes all the way back up into the auditorium there. It's the largest 15th century timber frame floor area that's ever been discovered in uh, Britain that's still going. So the, the floor extends, it goes right to where you are there and it goes right the way across to the other side of the auditorium, right the way to the back of the stage and then right the way up as where you can see the seating finishes. That's where the floor is, but it's underneath lots of later floor levels. So what we're sitting on now is a 1960s floor level, and below that is a 1950s floor level, and then below that are bits of possibly an older floor level, and then right underneath it, we've got this 1400s, 1417 uh, floor, which is very, very old indeed. We've got all the records to back up the fact Shakespeare was here. We've got all the probability that Shakespeare was here. We know Shakespeare's comedian was born in Kings Lynn. We know that Shakespeare's company was paid to perform here in a year when we know Shakespeare was a player and was on stage. We also know that Shakespeare was inspired by some of the things that we know happened in this venue to put certain things in some of his plays. So there's an awful lot of information that points to the fact that Shakespeare was here in this theatre in 1592-93 when the London theatres were shut due to the plague. Uh, when Shakespeare came here, you'd be looking at either the venue set up as it was when the Guild were here, or maybe it was slightly different. If it was as it was when the Guild was here, there was a little um, screen across the venue where the stage is now with two doors in it, and he would have come into the, the backstage area, if you like, the buttery, the, the kitchen, got changed in the kitchen, and then come through one of the doors into this area where we are now to perform to a venue of full of people. There probably would have been a fireplace in the middle of the venue so there would have been smoke billowing out uh, through a little um, turret in the roof that was sucking the smoke out and at the very other end of the hall there was a tiny raised area and that was for the very posh people to sit so Shakespeare and his players would have been here they would have been shouting stuff down the hallway and the audience we think would have been sitting because one of the documents that we've got mentions sitting uh, and they would have been sitting watching 
Shakespeare and his company do the play and he would have been around about here. And so he would have been lit very much like we are today by the windows that we're still lit by. We're not sure if they sat or they, or they stood, but one of the documents that we've got does mention sitting. So that's a possibility. Certainly at the posh end, they would have sat. And I think they probably would have sat generally in this kind of space. I think in places like the Globe, you get the, the, the standing, the groundlings, you get the standing audience. I'm not sure we've got that here. I don't think that's right because the people at the back who would have been sitting, the posh people, simply couldn't have seen. So they would have gone, sit down, sit down, I want to see. And they're the posh people, so you did what they said. So I think we've got an audience probably that's sitting down in this venue. So at the moment we're midway through a renovation programme in this theatre and the idea is to try and really keep the floor safe for the next 600 years but let people share the floor, share this incredible discovery that we've made of the Bard's boards, if you like, the Bard's, uh, the boards on which the Bard has trot. Uh, how do we share that and also keep them safe and don't hurt them for everyone? And that's what we're looking at now. We're trying to work out what is the best way that we can possibly keep these brilliant boards safe but also let everybody come, see the boards and enjoy them. And we're trying to work that out now. It's been really surprising, uh, the pressure tension. I think we'd have to say this story has gone all over the world. Uh, I've done interviews with all sorts of different companies from here to China uh, and back again. And so that's an incredible thing for us. It's really exciting for us because of course, one of the really important things about theatres is that you can't do a theatre without some form of audience, some form of support, people getting behind it. And the press interest in this story has enabled us to say, look, this is a fantastic theatre we've got here. It's a really special place. It's the only theatre in the world where we've got all of the phases of English drama happening in one room, 1400, 1500, 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900, and now, of course, today, we've got a play going on uh, on the stage right now. So it's, it is incredible that we've got that breadth of drama happening in one room. So it's not just Shakespeare, but it's 600 years of different performers, and that's really exciting. Please allow me just 15 seconds to plug this channel. Very Nearly Interesting is a brand new channel and I need all the help I can get. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. That's how YouTube knows you like it and they'll show it to more people. And please consider subscribing. That way we might see you again. We're trying to uh, really get behind culture in this place, as just as it was in Shakespeare's time. When Shakespeare came here, it was the Corporation of King's Lynn, the Borough of King's Lynn in 1592-93, that paid Shakespeare's company to play here. And that's how we know Shakespeare's company was here, because without that record book, and the Borough of King's Lynn apparently in the accounts department does not throw things away, uh, and that's why we've still got it. Without that 1592-93 account book, we wouldn't have that record. We wouldn't be able to prove that Shakespeare's company was paid to play here. I was born in King's Lynn. I've performed in this venue like my parents before me, they also performed in this venue. And as a little kid and growing up and being involved in the venue now, I'd always had fingers crossed, I'd always hoped. I'd always kind of thought, it might be the original floor, this might be the original floor, it looks really like an old floor. Fingers crossed, is it really the old floor? But it's one thing for me to think, gosh, it's the old floor. It's quite a different thing for somebody as senior as Dr. Jonathan Clark, who's a really good archeologist, to come in here and go, no, this is the original 1417 uh, floor, 1430 floor. This is the reason why and to have total confidence in what he's saying. He's brought dendrochronology which is tree ring dating analysis. He's got documentary analysis that he's done which ties that together and he's also got the construction method behind him. He can say well yes it's 1417 to 1430 because it's constructed like this and having that confidence and that, that skill and that knowledge is what really we were all lacking. All of us that thought it might be the original floor and hoped it might be the original floor were just really relieved by Jonathan came in and went, yes, yes it is the original floor and this is why. just seen a wooden stage played on by Shakespeare. Okay, likely played on by Shakespeare. If there are any other updates on this wonderful story, you can guarantee I'll cover it on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. That way, YouTube will show it to more people. And please consider subscribing. That way we might see you again. And please have a look at some of our other content. There's lots of interesting things on there. Well, very nearly interesting. <laughs>